Hello and welcome to the Lucian video tutorial series. In this video we're going to be talking about common search problems. Now we will note that while File Center Professional really has two search engines available to it, Windows Search and the built-in engine, this tutorial only covers issues with Windows Search. Now the first problem is something that only affects users of Windows XP or some Windows Server operating systems. And that is when you try to do a search, you might get this error. It's often a uh, class not found error, though I've seen other language also. If you see this error when you try to search, or if you come to the Windows control panel and this indexing options item is missing, that means you don't have Windows Search installed on your machine. Well, this is actually a very easy problem to resolve. All you need to do is download Windows Search and install it on your machine. It's available for free from Microsoft. Uh, here, we've just done a quick Google search for Windows Search Download, and it's brought up the results right there. Do be careful that you only download this from Microsoft's website. I mean, you're going to notice we've got some other ones showing up here, like right here. That's not from Microsoft's website. Don't download from there. Only download directly from Microsoft so you make sure you're getting the right thing. Now, once you've got Windows Desktop downloaded and installed, you should see this indexing options option right here in your uh, Windows control panel. And by the way, I will note that if you're using Windows 7 or newer, you shouldn't have to download and install Windows Desktop Search. This should already be there. Windows Search is integrated into those newer versions of Windows. Now, the next thing to do is to check your indexing to make sure that your cabinet locations are being included in Windows Index. So let's switch back over to File Center and take a look right here. I'm going to the Cabinets button. When I click this, this is each one of my cabinets and the locations of those cabinets. Those locations are very important. Those are folders out on my drive, and I need to make sure that these folders are all included in my Windows indexing. So let's go back over to the Control Panel. And I'm going to select this Indexing Options. And there we go, my indexing options have popped up. Now, notice we've got included locations here. These are locations that are being actively indexed by Windows. I need to make sure that my cabinet locations are included here. I can click this Modify button right here, and that will bring up this Indexed Locations dialog. And on here, I can, for example, expand my C drive, and I can look at everything that's being indexed inside of here. Now I need to go out to where my data is located and I need to make sure that I've got a check mark next to those folders so that all of my cabinets will be actively indexed by Windows. Next I need to come over here to this Advanced button. I'm going to click that. And that shows my advanced indexing options. Now I want to come over here to File Types. What I want to do is I want to scroll down through these file types and I want to examine the types of files that I typically want to search for. A classic problem is with PDF files. So let's scroll down to the PDFs. I'm going to select this. And down here it's very, very important that this be set on Index Properties and File Contents. And you can examine your other files likewise. If there's a specific kind of file that's never coming up in your search results, come and check it here and make sure that it's being indexed and the file contents are also being indexed. Now another very important point. Sometimes users can search the files that are on their computer, but they have a network cabinet also, and they can't search anything on the network cabinet. Well, what's going on there is Windows indexing is handled on a computer-by-computer -computer basis. And what I mean by that is Windows indexing here can only index files that are on this computer. If I have files that are out on a network drive on another computer, I have to go to that computer, go into indexing options on that computer, and make sure that those folders are being indexed on that computer. Again, Windows indexing is handled on a computer-by-computer -computer basis. Each computer is in charge of indexing its own files. Once those files on the network drive have been indexed, well, then I can search them from any other computer on the network, but it is the computer that hosts those files 
that's in charge of indexing those files. So you may have to go to a few different computers if you have a few different network drives and get indexing set up on each one of those computers. Now once you think you've got indexing working on all of your cabinets, you should do a test document in each one of those cabinets to check and make sure that your search is working. For example, I'm going to switch over to Word really quickly. I'm going to create a new document. And I'm just going to put one word in this document, and I want it to be a word that's going to be unique really to just this document. So let's just go with uh, my platypus document. I'm going to save this anywhere out into my cabinet. It doesn't really matter where it goes. Okay, now I want to switch over to File Center. And let's do a quick search to see if I can find that document. And there it is. My document came up in my search results. So I know that now my indexing is working and my search engine is working. Now if I've got some cabinets out on network drives, I'm going to want to repeat the same operation in those cabinets to make sure that indexing is working there on those remote, on those remote drives as well. Now if I'm able to search in each one of my cabinets and get some results, but I'm not getting some of the documents that I think should be coming back in my search results. Well, at this point, it's time to turn my attention to my documents. Those documents probably don't have the searchable content that I think that they have. And let's show you how to do that. Typically, this is going to be a problem with scanned files. Uh, you've done some scanning. You thought that you did OCR with the scans. But for some reason, you're just not getting those scans in any of your search results. Well, let's open up a very typical scan and take a look at it to see what the problem might be. I'm going to select this PDF right here, which is a scanned document. I'm going to open that up in File Center. Now, it looks like that has text in it. I would think that this should be searchable, but one thing you need to remember is that a scanned document doesn't actually have any text by default. Even though you see words there, if I try to click and drag across these words, I, I can't select anything. In fact, to my computer, this scanned document is nothing more than a picture. My computer does not see any words in that document at all. The only way that a scanned document is going to be searchable is if I have either added keywords to the document at the time I scanned it, or if I performed OCR on the document at the time that I scanned it. And let me show you what I mean by that. If we come up here to the Scan dialog, you're going to notice that there's an OCR tab right here. Right now, mine's showing a red X because I don't have any OCR options selected. I need to come here and select this option that says Make Searchable PDF. And what that does is, when the scan comes in, once it's done, File Center will perform OCR, which means Optical Character Recognition. It actually goes through that picture, that scan, identifies words in there, and exposes real text that can be searched. If you haven't had this option right here selected when you did your scan, your document is not searchable. Now here's how I can check if my document is searchable or not. I can come up here to the Tools button, and I've got this option here, Show Text Window. I'm going to select that, and this window shows up at the bottom here. I'm going to hit this Extract option, and that's going to pull any text in the document down and show it here in the window. But notice what happened. This document does not contain any text. Click the OCR button to extract text from the document images. So I'm going to click OK. So what that means is this document is really just pictures. There's nothing in this document that Windows can search. So I'm going to close this text window, and I'm going to come up here to the OCR button. OK. When I click this, this will go through and this will perform OCR. The same thing that I should have done at the time I scanned, I can now do it after the fact. And so I do want to make this a searchable PDF. I'm going to recognize the text. I'm going to go ahead and click Start OCR. Notice that this is quickly going through the document. It's identifying any text that's in the document. And it's going to show that text right down here in the bottom window as soon as it's done. And there we go. Notice that it has been able to identify the words in the documents and expose those as text. 
This text is actually embedded behind the picture. And we can see, because look, now I can drag across these words and select them, which shows that there's some real text back there. It didn't change the appearance of the scan at all, but it gave us some real text. And so at this point, once I save this document, this is now going to be a searchable file. Well, what if the text you've got down here is gibberish, or there have been parts up here that have been omitted from the OCR text for whatever reason the OCR engine didn't get them, or you've got a lot of misspellings which are making it so your content isn't as searchable as you want it to be. Well, OCR does its best, but it's not a perfect process. And so sometimes you're going to have these issues with OCR text. And what you may need to do is supplement your OCR with keywords in the document, which leads to our next point. The other way to make a document searchable is to give that document keywords at the time that you scan it or afterwards. Here at the Properties button, I can hit this, and I can type keywords here into this field right here, and those words will now become searchable content. Now, if you haven't watched it already, we have a whole video that's dedicated to showing you how to use keywords to make documents searchable. So you may want to go take a look at that now. Once you've got indexing properly set up, and once you've got good searchable content inside of your documents, you should be able to begin searching without any problem.